I hosted a $250,000 Fortnite tournament, the PlayStation Cypher PK Cup. And today's video will be a story, a story of three characters whose journey through this one match will eventually end in one of the closest nail-biting and intense Fortnite moments I have ever seen. No freaking way! The only question is, which of these three is winning the tournament? Try to figure it out as you're watching because the story begins as they all drop into their final match. And instantly, I start spectating our first character, Yasir. He won the last game and is currently in first place, and he's landing at the raft. Yasir showing a very dominant, very amazing game five win in first place with 204. Yasir is a controller player from Mexico who's made a name for himself, especially in past PlayStation Cups. And in this lobby, he's one of the clear favorites to win. But he doesn't have a massive lead. If he chokes at any point, he won't secure first place. Yasir is contested with a ton of players around the raft, but manages to loot up without too much hassle. So I switch over to our second character, Z-Link. He's landing at Red Line Rig, and after destroying... <laughs> what is my cat doing? All right. After destroying people there all tournament, he has it uncontested. Z-Link is a controller player who's been grinding Fortnite for a while, but just recently has seen huge success. You might have seen him in the most recent FNCS Grand Finals. And guys, I know these characters aren't Clicks, Booga, or Peter Bob, but trust me, the ending of this game will make your investment in these characters worth it. Right now, he's in second place, only 20 points behind Yasir. And basically, whoever does better will win this $250,000 tournament. That is, unless the third character has anything to say about it. Plasmify. 153 points. He's in third place right now, going into this final game. Now, I'm not gonna lie, out of all of these characters, this dude is basically a nobody. Bro's Twitter profile picture is literally just a default picture. He's landing Grimgate and a few players are circling around him. He's a controller player who mostly plays on console and he has around $4,000 in earnings just from PlayStation Cups. He's in third place going into the final game, but the thing is, he's never won a major tournament and getting first place here could really put his name on the map and set his flag down. Who knows? This unknown console player might really make a name for himself. He's still not out of the picture. It's, it's just a tough, it's a tough scene for him. And every placement matters here. I want to remind you guys, first place gets $5,000. So the difference between third and second is, is 600 bucks. The placements matter. And by the way, his in-game name is Peacemify. So sometimes I call him that in this video. Anyways, he's got someone landing at his POI that he needs to deal with. Your skulls can be seen. I promise you they can be seen around that corner. Here we go. couple tags no just one tag all right so now the story is set and we have our three characters so let's go back over to yesir who just left the raft and is heading over to the forecast station but it's not gonna be easy yo yesir does not want to give up this uh tower by the way kill goes down but that guy's actually still healthy this is not like uh an easy kill holy crap He's doing that on, on PlayStation, by the way. He's doing that on PlayStation, by the way. Bro, he is not giving up this, uh, this tower. There's another guy pushing up. Oh my God. Bro, bro is scrapping for this tower, bro. He said, get out of here. 70 damage. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't seen him build like this. I mean, we haven't watched him much, but this guy is a freak. He's fighting off player after player, but not able to eliminate any of them. This play is getting riskier by the second. Is he gonna just go for the NPCs? Meanwhile, back at Redline Rig, Z-Link is trying to rotate away, but gets tagged by other players from Brawler's Battleground. He's getting kind of pinched from all sides, so when he decides to try to launch away, he flies near another player and gets beamed, which is great news for Yasir, who's taking a huge risk himself. Man, this is kind of risky. This is kind of risky maneuvers for a first place guy, but it looks like he really wants it. He's not giving it up. The other guy left, bro. He's gonna, he's gonna get it. Yasir perseveres and he ends up securing the forecast tower, which has proven to be very useful for him in this tournament. 
After that, he heads back to the raft and decides to refarm. Oh, shoot. This, these guys are still fighting in Storm. He needs some white health, and since it's my tournament, I bless him with a little bit of good luck. Medkit. I got you, bro. All right, it's the best I could do, bro. Bandages was the best I could do, bro. Yeah, yeah, see, representing Mexico. Let's go, bro. He manages to get out safely, but my chat has told me that disaster struck for one of our characters. Okay, I just heard that second place Z Link Rain, who was the only person close enough to stop Yasir, just went down. And it looks like he's about to get snuck up on. He's looting this bunker. It looks like he's in a good spot. Two med kits. How does he end up dying? Oh, Twitter dark. Holy crap. Oh my God. The laser. That is so unfortunate. So that's one of our characters down. It is now a two person story. Will Yasir hold on to his lead or will Plasmify the unknown player surprise everyone and take him down? Trust me, this end game is a movie. So right now, Peacemify, he has the chance to maybe stop Yes, here maybe he still has a chance if yes here goes down right now and piece of fire wins the game piece of fire will be ahead of him 100 percent checking back with you here he's actually in an excellent position for mid game he has heals good guns good mats but one thing though that's been huge in this tournament is storm surge only 67 above storm surge he's gonna need to damage other players or he will die and that's exactly what plasmify is doing he's in a great position in doomstad watching everyone rotating in and getting lots of storm surge damage now while yasir's position initially looked good you're gonna see why plasmify is in positionally a much better spot because one thing you need to notice is look at this next storm it's a super far pull. So seeing this, he makes an early rotate in. He gets tagged, but eventually finds some tags of his own. But he's able to move in relatively easily because he rotated early. He's already good on surge, but as he's moving in, he hears this guy in his builds get cracked and decides to do this. All right, so he's on the low ground boxed in, but then he hears this guy in the metal open up and then as he's shooting he actually ends up getting cracked so he takes this opportunity he jumps up into his box freshly edited wall he's gonna try to get in and he trades some shot right there it was pretty close but it ends up giving him a refresh so that was a huge kill and now he never has to worry about storm surge for the rest of this match but now we go back to yasir and remember how the storm pulled really far away storm is pulling Peacefy made the early rotate, but now Yasir is in trouble. Now, nah, Hiloki has to earn this one if he's trying to win. In this rotate, he needs surge. So he's taking a lot more risks, using more resources, stopping and trying to get some damage so he doesn't die to the surge. Get those tags, bro. Get those tags. Oh, come on. Once this zone closes, if he's under the surge limit, he's going to start taking damage and eventually get killed. Yo, Yasser might go down, bro. Only 46 above surge. He gets cracked and he knows he needs to stay alive and get some more placements. He's in first place right now, but if he dies, he won't have enough to hold on. Look at that, bro. Max distance. Guys, he's not going to stay alive. He needs to survive for every point he can. And this is where Yasir starts to put on a performance of a lifetime. Oh my God. He could easily have gotten fried right there. Bro is swimming around the map. Michael Phelps. He's using everything he has just to make it in, bro. Refarm, refarm the sentry. He, he doesn't have time to go he, to, to go straight up. He has to go up this little this little hill right here. Guys, this might be the end for Yasser here, but it might be enough, man. It might, he, actually, I don't know, man. It might not be enough. Peacefify is alive. Bodify is alive. Arsenic's alive. Revise is alive. If he goes down here, one of them could take it. Get some damage in. 13 above. He's going to have to fight here. He's going to have to fight. Uh-oh. Hundred and thirty metal. Guys, he's going down. Unless he pulls off something crazy, he's going down. Oh my god. Peacefy alive.
He's fighting Piksovsky, who's playing on 120 ping. Oh my god, bro. This might be it. 210. Pay attention to how many points he has. There's no way, bro. He, he, he knows which side to rotate on. He's really good at getting dead side, by the way. He obviously has this, the, the storm info, but... He's running low on mats, bro. He's looking for like extra loot. Can he squeeze out any more points? Every point matters right now. Every point matters. Max pull. Every game has been a max pull right here. Frick, bro. He's dead. He's so dead. Oh my God. He's so dead. Oh my god, 6 HP. Somebody look at this man. No freaking way! 200 damage! That guy was full health, full shield! What the hell? 212. Every point matters, bro. He's squeezing. He's squeezing as much as he can out of this game, bro. I would have given up five minutes ago. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? He hit that guy for 202 shots. Peace Mafi is weak, bro. Peace Mafi is weak. Second place is weak right now. Psycho Kings behind that wall. Popping a mini. No builds, no builds. Sitting in a cone. Looking for something, can't take any storm damage. How is he still alive, bro? How is he still alive? This guy's ridiculous. Behind him, dude, he just missed out on a kill. He just missed out on a kill. He goes down, peace of mind. Score to beat is 219. Score to beat is 219. He took it from 210 to 219. When he should have died at 210, he squeezed out nine more points. Peace Mafia is not even in, a, in, in shape to win this game. Wait, wait, wait. He might get the refresh here on Reciprocal. He might get the refresh here on Reciprocal. Out of mass, bro. He's letting Reciprocal heal. 219 is the score to beat. He's at 171. He needs to win the entire game. He needs to win the entire game. He's not getting it. He drops pump. Gets a mini. Modify goes down. Third place goes down. Peacemify still alive. Didn't even have time to pop minis. Circle's pulling back. He's so lucky it pulled back. He's so lucky it pulled back. Above you, bro. Grabs another refresh. Grabs a fizz. Okay, okay, okay. Is he going for height here? Who's on height? 180. Score to beat is 219. He's the only one who has enough points to beat him. He's the only one who has enough points. He's the only one, bro. CRFM on height. Drops down. Doesn't get the kill. Medkits. He needs them. He needs them. Reciprocal underneath. Triple medkits. Triple armor. Score to beat is 219. It's a 1v1. Bro, Yasir staying alive. Getting those extra points just won him the entire tournament. Getting that kill with no health just won him the entire tournament. Because Peace Mafi, Peace Mafi would have won. Because he's about to finish. He's not going to finish with 219. He's not going to finish with 219. He's going to finish though. He's going to finish with 218. It was a one point difference. Oh my God. It was one point. That is insane. We got to refresh. Maybe, maybe the leaderboard looks different. Maybe the leaderboard looks different. Ladies and gentlemen, we were mistaken. The replay mode was incorrect. Plasmify, if he had not gotten the final kill and the win, 
which netted him 10 points for winning and two for the elimination, would not have beaten Yasir and secured the first place, which netted him $5,000 and the win. The unknown player with the massive clutch of a lifetime, making a name for himself and winning the tournament. I wanna to give a huge shout out to everyone who competed and PlayStation for hosting this tournament with me. Thank you guys so much for watching.